today i will be talking about platelet rich plasma prp in orthopedic practice okay i am dr ajit sagal an orthopedic surgeon practicing at varanasi i have served the indian orthopedic association as vice president the president central zone indian orthopedic association and the president of up nursing home association and up orthopedic association I have been practicing here for last 37 years. I have served in railway hospital DLW and many trust hospitals. Yes. Uh, this PRP treatment is done by me only in UP, and this is the first clinic, Mangalam Clinic and Trauma Center, Siddhigiri Varanasi, which is doing the PRP treatment for the osteoarthritis of the knee. As I have been trained from Australia and the famous PRP treatment specialist, Dr. Peter Lewis. and he has done a thousands of, of the cases and i have done a quite a large number of the patient with a dramatic effect for the osteoarthritis and the other orthopedic problems you must have heard the name of platelet but platelet you have heard in connection with a very dangerous disease dengue you know that platelet is reduced in case of the dengue so platelet is infused by intravenous infusions but do you know that these platelets they are very important for the human being and they have got growth factors they have got the healing capacity so seeing this quality of the platelet the scientific workers they worked out and the first research was done when in a cardiac patient after the open heart surgery the sternum which was cut for the surgery was not healing properly then platelets was applied after the concentration and that fracture healed this effect gave a thought in the mind of the scientific workers that we should just explore the qualities of the platelet and today we know that platelet has got many growth factors which works in many orthopedic problems so i will tell you the different diseases different problems of the orthopedics in which the platelet rich plasma in short which is known as prp is helpful in orthopedics this prp is very effective in osteoarthritis in tennis elbow in golfer's elbow in frozen shoulder and in partial tears of the meniscus and all the ligaments which are attached in the joints but today we will mainly deal with the uh, osteoarthritis which is a very common problem especially in female after 40 years and in males after the 50 years in which you feel pain in the joint there is swelling in the joint and when you touch when you move the joint you can feel that there are noise there is noise in the joints and this is all because of the rubbing of the bones bone ends uh, so the noise is produced Uh, it's very painful condition very tender to touch yes. these osteoarthritis has got a different categories in type 1 of the osteoarthritis this is just a mild pain patient feels that there is a pain on walking and in grade 2 that pain increases in grade 3 pain increases more patient are not able to walk properly and in the last grade 4 arthritis the deformity is present you can see that uh, knee they are not straight and they are bent medially known as genu varus so these are the condition uh, you can see in case of the osteoarthritis now i will tell you the treatment of prp platelet rich plasma in case of the osteoarthritis as you know this platelet is one of the component of the blood so as you give blood for your investigation we take blood from the patient and that blood is kept into the centrifuges because that centrifuges will separate the different portions of the blood and in that platelet plasma rich plasma will be collected normally the platelet has got only 4 to 5% in our blood but when we centrifuge it reaches up to 30% so this is known as platelet rich plasma yes. so after the centrifuge when this is separated different part of the blood is separated then 
This platelet-rich plasma is collected in a sterile syringe. And I must tell you a very important factor that each and every step of this process is to be conducted under highly, highly sterilized uh, atmosphere with uh, total maintenance of the aseptic uh, procedures because you are dealing with the uh, blood product number one and you have to inject this platelet rich plasma into the joint. So it should be very, very in a sterilized uh, atmosphere. So when you collect the platelet rich plasma, then this plasma is activated by putting in a machine. And after putting in a machine, uh, all the growth factors, they are activated. And now this platelet rich plasma is ready to get injected into the joint. As we prepare part in case of the operation, like that, the strict aseptic precaution is taken and joint is prepared, draped in a sterilized draping and that platelet rich plasma, that plasma is injected into the joint, knee joint and the course is one injection after a week for three consecutive weeks, that means three injections and it should be repeated after one month. So in total, four injections are given into the knee joint and patient is told to do a regular quadriceps exercise and icing is a must. I must tell you what is the importance of this therapy, platelet rich plasma therapy. Number one, this platelet rich plasma, PRP is from your own blood. So you don't have any reaction. You don't get any anaphylaxis and nothing is mixed in that blood. So no disease is transferred, no anaphylaxis reaction. Number two, when you inject the PRP, it starts working in a few days. It's not an immediate effect. It will take some time to get proper effect to give you relief. What we do, we do icing of the joint and we do the regular exercises. The most important part of this PRP therapy is that all the anti-inflammatory drugs, they are contraindicated for the patient. Because if you take anti-inflammatory drugs, the analgesics, they are not going to cure your disease. They are not going to cure your problem. They will just give you harm. Your liver and kidneys, they are damaged if you take a long time of the anti-inflammatory drugs and the analgesics. So you will leave all these anti-inflammatory analgesics. Only plain, simple paracetamol is needed for few patients that you can take for a long which is not very harmful. So you can leave all the anti-inflammatory drugs. So your liver and kidneys are safe and your own blood is used for the, for the treatment. That is the best part. And it is giving a very good result in cases of the osteoarthritis. After three, four injections, patients are getting much relief. In cases of the frozen shoulder, in cases of the uh, tennis elbow, golfer's elbow, and in the partial uh, tear of the ACL and the meniscus, they are really, really very useful. And for all sports injury, PRP is doing wonders. I myself, Dr. Ajit Sagal, and the team of my Mangalam Clinic and Trauma Center wish you all to be healthy. You should eat healthy. You should be healthy. Do proper exercises and do proper dieting. Thank you.